Welcome back at 750. Welcome back at 722 on this Tuesday morning. Of course, it's been chilly the last few days, but spring is about to spring, as Zach Fidella has told us, which means it's time for more and more seafood, which means it's also time for the 47th annual Louisiana Crawfish Festival happening this weekend in Chalmette. Uh, it is still a little chilly out this morning, but uh, that's no problem. We got the pot rolling, and with me this morning is Cisco Gonzalez to talk all about the festival and to share just a few of his pro crawfish boiling tips. Not all of them, he can't give away all his secrets. Cisco, good morning, thank you for being with us. Good morning, yeah, we're 47th annual, starting Thursday night, big night. Uh, and something that do brag about, we actually uh, got awarded this year from Louisiana Fairs and Festival, it was the festival of the year. So we're celebrating a lot of celebrations. So talk about the pot a little bit, but um, can you keep a secret? I can. Can so, you keep a, Can you keep a secret? So can I. Okay. Well, Let's go. What's the secret then? <laughs> the secret is, uh, you know, just I like to use liquid. You know, liquid ball, liquid this, liquid that, a little cayenne, and uh, a little Cajun touch, and you, you're gonna be really liking it. Well, too. that's what you got the pot going already, right? Oh God, yeah. Too bad any smell of vision, huh? I know. I know. Yeah, it smells so good, huh? And look, thirty thousand pounds of ball crawfish this weekend coming up. So. Uh, this is just a little taste. And uh, will you be boiling out there this weekend? No, uh, actually, uh, we use today's catch boiling. It does great. Uh, he gave me some tips, so I think I got it down pat. So what else can people expect? You said 30, how many thousand pounds of crawfish, and what else will be going on out there this weekend? Well, I'll tell you, uh, it, it's, you know, we've got 29 rods, you know, a carnival ride. So um, where can you go for $30 a day for a child to, to ride 29 rods? Not many places. Nowhere. <laughs> no, right. So, uh, and then we got crawfish dishes, no matter how you want it. And we got crawfish pie, we got crawfish pasta, we got crawfish bread, we got crawfish on hats, t-shirts, anywhere you want <laughs> crawfish, we have it. And you brought some friends with you over here too. Sorry, I sound a little hoarse, but who, who are your friends you have over here with us this morning? This is our, our, our Miss Queen Abby and, our, our, and my teen queen, um, Atiana. <laughs> I can't say that name for it's, some It's reason. really it's early in the morning, morning. I understand. Yeah. yeah, it's real early. Uh, and this is our, our queens for the year. And, they, you, and look, they bring a lot of other queens there. So they got a lot of prettiest there. You know, not only this face here, but look at <laughs> the beautiful girls we have here today. So crawfish any way you like it. 30 rides, thousands of pounds of crawfish all going down this weekend. Where can people go for tickets now? Do they need to get tickets now or can they buy them at the door? No, if you go online, LouisianaCrawfishFestival.com, you know, you scan it and you save $2 a ticket because it's $10 at the door, $8 online. Um, and come on down, it's a great time. And, and where's it going to be? I didn't ask you that. In Chalmette, but where? Uh, 8245 West Just Perez at the Fresh Segura building, uh, known as the St. Bernard Auditorium. All right, a lot of crawfish coming up this weekend and a lot of crawfish coming up this morning. You can see Cisco's pot just started. They got just the seasoning in right now. And uh, Jake's going to pan over, look down in the, in the bucket down there. Got the little guys. They're going to go in the pot a little later. They're, they're chilling out right now, but we'll have more from uh, the backyard uh, with the Louisiana Crawfish Fest folks as the morning goes on. But for now, back to you in the studio.